to create a new material, first we have to click on New. This opens up a material box. Now that we have done that, we can click on this empty space here, which allows us to choose a material. It says None at the moment. It opens up our Texture Locator. I'm going to come over here into my Textures directory and choose some random texture that it may load for me. Uh, zebra stripe sounds fun. We'll just play with that for now. So now we can see the material we've chosen. We can left click on this window here and rotate the ball around or the sphere. And that's how our texture would look if it was wrapped around a sphere. We want to rename it so we, under we remember what the name of this is. We will call it zebra stripes and it was a JPEG file, so I could go ahead and give it the JPG extension so I know which one to call it and click on rename. Now it still isn't showing up here. We want to click on assign and make sure we're looking at the textured view of our model. There we go, that's the textured view. It isn't showing up very well, so the next step we're going to have to do is open the texture coordinate editor. We want to select a region. We'll do that by clicking on region, creating a box, and select the left view and remap. And now then we come over here and we should be able to see our texture much better now. Close that, and that is how we have placed one texture on our box. To do it again, we unselect this area, choose Group 2, select Group 2, go back to Materials, create a new material, open a new box, and let's try Cheetah Fur for the other side. Open, and that's what our Cheetah Fox Fur is going to look. We will rename it. Cheetah fur. Oh, I believe that was also a JPEG. Not really sure. It doesn't matter. So we name it Cheetah fur and we assign it to our group. And again, we need to use the texture coordinate editor. Choose group 2 from the drop down list. There we can see it and we can choose a different view. We can choose from the front view, the left view, or the top view. We'll do the top view this time. Remap it and come over here and see what that looks like when we've chosen the top view. You can see how it's stretched around. And there you have it. Now we have... We can remove the wireframe overlay to see what our shape will look like without the wireframe and you can see all of the texture that we have put onto it. Just like that.